right, well, we're getting ready to go to Lincoln for the World of Outlaws show. Wednesday night, we got Honey Crisp here. She's going along, and Dwight and Chris and, and Dad. We're just talking about Tony Stewart and his lack of interest in sprint car racing. And uh, yeah. would you think, what'd you say about Tony, Dad? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, we're just disappointed he ain't. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Billy Dietrich, sprint car mechanic and driver. I've been around racing my whole life and it's pretty much all I know. We created this channel to share the good and the bad and everything in between. Our crew may not be the most experienced or professional, but we get it done and we have a good time doing it. We'll show you what it's really like racing weekly at some of the best tracks in Central Pennsylvania. I'm also going to share some sprint car tutorials, mechanics, and parts, and whatever else I feel like. So like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, boy. All right. The food and the chef has arrived. Oh, what am I? Eight minutes late. Oh, you're you're good. What we got here? Oh, mac and cheese. Ooh. Dude, I was pushing it. You said we're pulling out at four. You had me stressing. Well, we we are pulling out at four. <laughs> four whenever we're ready. Hey, girl, you ready to go to race? She's excited. She's all miss wound you. up. I miss you. This whole racing after work thing. I don't know, man. But it's nice well, out. It is. It's beautiful. And you look good. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> the last piece of the puzzle has arrived. We have arrived at Lincoln Speedway. There's no line, so we must be late. We're on time. We're on our time. Everybody's hanging out, having fun. Yeah. How come we don't get to do that? We're not as cool as they are. We're cooler. I don't know. This looks yeah. like fun. Yeah! Well, we're gonna have fun. In a little bit. Hey, little baby. You've been good. Work we got work on a sprint car Chris, play cornhole. I think Dwight. Answer to that. <laughs> we all know you like to work on sprint cars, Chris. <laughs> It's always so much fanfare. We got some flags waving in the breeze and all kinds of stuff. Last teammates are already here. Let's go about the situation. All right, so we already had some excitement today. We had a spot saved for us because Bill has to work. So we show up a little late to this stuff and we don't give our spot that we paid for because it's the outlaws. So when we showed up, the people next to us had their mule parked in our you know, a little over the line, but it was enough because the spots aren't that big that we couldn't get the trailer in. So politely asked them to move, move it over and they weren't happy about it. Um, yeah. And then Nate had asked them to move it again. So I said, excuse me, can you move the mule so we can get the truck in the spot? They started mouthing off about us getting here late, whatever. So then the guy proceeds to back the mule directly behind the car. Now Bill can't swing the truck wide enough to get the truck in the spot. I said, hey, dude, can you back up so you can get the truck in the goddamn spot? And he's like, whoa, looking at me. I was like, move. And then he finally moved. Bill pulled in. Then the <laughs> Sorry. The kind lady that was next to us started mouthing off. I'm going to make a long story short. They didn't move the mule. <laughs> well, and so, Bill, I said, Bill, can you talk to them? And his, his response was, hey, is there any way you can move that? And their response was, no. So I went over and I said, um, can you help me understand why um, you can't help us to get our car out when we're all here to race? And then they got mad. They threw a wheel cover, um, scared the crap out of my dog and moved it and they're not happy. So we may or may not have issues over there tonight. Mm -hmm. Nate's really fired up. I don't, I don't get fired up. Nate is really fired up. So we're gonna go get some drinks and we're gonna have some fun.
It reminds you like like in the Bahamas when you go in like the market area, doesn't it? It's like so packed. They definitely got it crammed in here. Yeah, they do. Also got the NOS truck here. You can uh, stop and get a free NOS drink. What flavor do you suggest? Hmm, does he look trustworthy, Jilly? <laughs> Prove it. Oh, all right, I guess I'll have one of those. <laughs> Thank you. There's the Outlaw Merch trailer. They bring in to sell all their merchandise. Pretty cool. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Is that like a rewards program for the Outlaws? All right, so we're here at the um, Outlaw check-in station for the Fan Rewards Club. And so tell us about this. How's this work? Yeah, so the Being Outlaw program is a free rewards program for World Outlaws fans. Every race you go to, you can scan in, whether it's a World Outlaws Spring Car Race or World Outlaws Late Model Race. And when you check in, you get an exclusive giveaway. And then you can also win the chance to potentially ride in the pace car, take a photo on Victory Lane with the winner. You might get exclusive merchandise. You might get to sound the horn. I get to go on a pit tour you never know we've always got something different up our sleeve but it's completely free to the fans and it's an awesome program to be a part of um, sometimes we have exclusive access to some of our outside events like tomorrow with the mountain Hershey experience uh 10 20 fans that are part of the program get to go to the exclusive portion that isn't open to the public which is pretty awesome yeah that's great all right so if you follow the outlaws this sounds super cool check it out next time you're at a race what's your name my name's jordan Come see Jordan. Let's get signed single, up. I think. Just wanted to get this pretty cool shot here. Turn one. And you can sit right here and watch if you want. I would. Dirty. You're gonna get hit with all sorts Rocky, of yeah. We're walking over here. Me and Acidator can get some drinks. Drinks. Oh, that looks real weird, doesn't it? Think about it. It's like playing the, playing the clarinet. What is it, Wednesday? <laughs> Looking at Outlaw Life. <laughs> I'm Nasty needs buying, so. I'm one motor home away from being an Outlaw follower. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was supposed to be Nate posing, but we're really enjoying ourselves, aren't we, Nate? I just want to come over here and give you guys a sneak peek before the track tour video of Lincoln of the creepiest track bathroom you'll ever see. All right, we're gonna check this out. Fun fact, I have never been in the infield of Lincoln Speedway. So this is this is a treat. Fun fact, I lost my virginity in this tunnel. No, you didn't. Oops. This reminds me of like the tunnels on the turnpike because the lighting. Are we, do we have to take our sunglasses off? This reminds me of some creepy tunnel at like an airport where like all sorts of bad stuff goes down. I don't know. It, I feel like the energy in here isn't bad. It seems happy. It's not making me scared. People are people are having a good time in here. Yeah, woo! <laughs> the, the, I can't say it, tunnel. It <laughs> look at and now we're coming out the other side. Whoa! Look at this stuff. That's normally not there. That's normally not there because it's fancy, right, Nate? Yeah, that was. But I mean, it looks cool. I like it. Whoa, this is amazing. The only time I ever saw it is in Lauren's video when she did the infield. It's cool when you stand next to the fence because you're real close to the track. Really? Yeah. Is that what you did? Where did you stand when you used to hang out? A trash can. <laughs> this trash can right here. Yeah. This is where it's at. <laughs> I thought he was way taller than that. <laughs> I found my Meow! <laughs> <laughs> the whole infield's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> no, now Take your pants off! <laughs> <laughs> is that really cool? Is that really him? Is that him? Well, I'm over here trying to do a video and somebody's yelling at me from the infield. It's Nate. <laughs> he's yelling, he's right there with Heather. And uh, yeah, we're videoing each other videoing. 
You just never know what you might run into. All right, meanwhile, driver's meeting's over. There's less cars here tonight than there was last time. There's only 42 cars. And still split qualifying. We're the eighth car out. Oh, this truck's getting sideways. Look at him. So, let me zoom out here just a whisker. Anyway, we're the eighth car out. Split qualifying. Less cars than last time. Might be good. Hard to say. See what happens. Heat and motors next. All right, we're here with Dalton. He's he's back on the road. Remember our video? How to how to work on the road with a outlaw crew? Well, Dalton's living the dream, and he's back out on the road. So we're gonna take a, a tour of his outlaw trailer. Hold on. Air conditioned. Air conditioned yeah. outlaw trailer. Outlaw and all stars, right? You guys don't. You didn't yeah, sign true, up for anything. True outlaw. True Outlaw. Yeah, I'm sorry. So it's True Outlaw Tour Trailer. Let's Here we go. Oh. Right. I work for Sam Hayford T. I'm on the True Outlaw schedule. We run Outlaws, High Limit, and All Stars, and Loud. whatever local stuff we can. Let's go on inside. That's obviously been an Outlaw team. Got the mule. You know, everything's labeled. All our wrenches. You know, everything. Keep everything nice and organized. And foam, trying to keep everything clean, keeps the road real nice. I like guess it's, it's Oh, this is fancy. Nice, nice you don't have to guess what drawer something's in, it's labeled. Nate, do you like that? I do like You're that. not getting it. Okay. <laughs> what else you got? To, look at these doors. I love this. Got some merch. Yep. That's the merch so, here, we carry three wings. Back up here, behind here, we carry four. Spare car. Amazing. Wings, Look at that. Bumpers. Cabinets upstairs with all their spare cars. I don't want to interrupt right now, but I feel cool headers. air hitting me. Oh yeah. my God. It's air conditioned in here, guys. Yeah, we have air conditioning here. What's the temperature, Dalton? 68. Oh. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Amazing. Yeah. So here's all our tire and fluids. Wow. Back here. Deep shocks, gears. Radiator. Look at the lighting in this. Yeah, the C texture. Oh wow, the lights up. Yeah. This one, our spare radius rods, torque tubes, drive line, torsion bars, kind of, you know, all your important stuff. This one here is kind of our oil, car wash, spare water if we need it. Simple Amazing. Clean. Look at these towels. Yeah, we try to keep everything nice and clean and organized. Carry enough fuel at least Look at this. three nights. Carry 20 gallons of the mule and like 100 right here. So it lasts us about three nights. And this one here. Carry two rear ends, two front ends, and then two complete two beams so we can build front ends if we need to. Our engine turnover tool. All this is ready to go right into the car if we need it to. Amazing. What, what do you think, Joe? And then here, obviously it's the Sam's area where the helmets and all that, but we have our Lister cabinet here, all our spare bolts, everything you need, everything's labeled, so you can just get right into it if you need to. But fasteners, wing, motor, motor, front end, rear end, it's kind of like a miscellaneous parts and hoses. All labeled. And everything's labeled. Labeled. And then the important parts. Whoa, we look carry, at that bad boy. Carry three motors with us. We carry one here one there and then and the stairs up there we can carry another one. Wow this trailer is amazing. Yep, another mini split system. Another air conditioner. You said there's what three mini splits in yep. here again? Have our onboard chalk dyno, have a welder. This is our tank for if we got to do motor changes we don't have to get hot water on us we just plug it in and it pulls the hot water right out of it. Amazing. So then obviously you know our tires just more crap up there. Gotta have a fridge and a freezer. They can even make popcorn. Yeah, we, we have popcorn this. in there. <laughs> Next time I know yeah. you're coming, I'm bringing my popcorn. There is popcorn. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. Look at all this. <laughs> Cribs, trailer style. As you can see, our spare tail tinny. Extra wheels, tires. There's our spare car. This is how you get upstairs. Everything's hooked up on the trolley. 
to where if we need to pull the backup car down, all we have to do is push the button, pick it up, and it's ready to rip. This is amazing. And then here's the nice part. I never even this seen rack. anything like this. Just roll the match. Wow. Yeah, here's the lounge. So this trailer is fancy. This actually slides out, and this actually slides out. So we have two slide outs. Wow. Bed up here. These fold down into beds. Everybody has their own cabinet. Cabinet here. We have two TVs in here. Sam's cat, you know, fire suits and all that. Wow. Bathroom and shower. Yeah. No way. We have a shower and bathroom. Look at this. Ice is in the house. <laughs> Full tile. Everything. Wow. Yeah, Self so sufficient to stay on the road for months at a time. Amazing. This is great, Dalton. Amazing. Thanks for showing us this. this. Is really nice. No yeah, there's another mini split right above you. So you're not minding being out on the road this time, are you? No, it's kind of nice. Lap of luxury over here. Yeah, this shower is nicer than hey, my house. Hey, Dalton, this is, like, this is a long way from the Mahalski's uh, toter yeah. home. <laughs> the bathroom actually works in this one. <laughs> Guys, I just want to get a shot of this going out. That this is what the trailer looks like from the inside out. You can actually see, even though the doors are tinted from the other side, um, it, it, this is amazing. Like the whole thing. Wow. Never seen anything like this before in my life. Hey, how about that trailer? That was really nice, for real. Oh my God. Are you gonna get Donnie shots and just Billy's right behind us? Where is he? Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah. Well, we're getting ready to go for hot lap system heat the motors. Like I said, it's an outlaw format. Not all race, that was don't think to say, right? <laughs> Alright, let's start that over again. Alright, warm ups is up next. We just did heat the motor from the second group warm ups first flight, hot laps. So there's 42 cars, just put them in half. Our eighth car out. Um, yeah, the track looks, I would say, fairly hard because there's still water in it, which is unusual for Lincoln. It's, it's very sunny and low, low humidity, so it's recipe for a dry track. So who knows? We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'll have to next. Let's see what happens after that. Get back to you then. Something like that. Well, you're fast and warm up, so what are you thinking? Track's changing, so I really don't know if we should change anything. It's changing a little bit, but the track was still a little smeary when I was out there. Spots. I talked to Danny a little bit. He told me about the corners and how they were changed a little bit, which is kind of what it looked like to me when I was out there. Back times ain't that. I think they were like 13 sixes, which is we were a 13. I think 13 two was quick time Saturday night. I think so. That's four tenths a second slower. So we're a little snugger now than we were Saturday night to begin with. So we might be okay.
Alright, he races drop back to end up 11th overall in the first flight. That puts the sixth in the first eight. We're taking five. The track definitely slowed down pretty steady all the way through time trials. Make a couple small adjustments, not much, because now we're in race mode. So a little stagger adjustment. Got to add some fuel and uh, taking five and we're in the first heat, so we're up next. So we're going to line up with just posted, so I'm going to get ready now. Like I just wrote up a picture of my phone and said, Jake, it's like, the man all, you know, like, the case of uh, the in the like, we did the the look for I went out here and the same color. It was like the same color, all the girls. Tonight, he makes his like, right the <laughs> Started sixth, got up to fifth for a while, and then uh, I lost fifth with know, a handful of laps to go. Ended up sixth. Just we're off a tick with the, with the car. Not terrible, but we just just missed it a little bit. So we're gonna make some changes. We should be on the pole to be. So we're gonna you know try and keep up the track. Tracks changing a lot. Uh, they got a lot of racing yet. They got a C and then the dash, and then, then we're up for the B. So see what happens. The guys are doing a good job, and uh, we just gotta get through this B and put it in the show. There's they, a lot of good cars in the B. A lot of good, there's, there's only good cars here, I just really. saw that Todd so, Shield is in the B. Think, so, all good cars. So we're in position. We just got to get the car a little better here for the B and put it in the show. Where we're at with this. Tough crowd tonight. <laughs> all right, we got issues back here. Honey Chris was in scared since the issue this when we got here with the throwing of the wheel cover by our, our neighbors. And now, um, because this person's generator, which no fault of theirs, this is how it is. When, when we get in, pulled in here so tight, we got to open the door before we pull in. Now there's no way to close this door and any exhaust fumes from any of the generators come in. Now it's starting to get smelly back here. So I got to relocate Miss Honeycrisp to the front of the trailer. And she's scared of everything because she got scared when we got here. So you can see she's like shaking it's been like that ever since you know the altercation over there and yeah so we're gonna work on that now me and Jilly right Jilly yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Hey, you're competitive. I mean, I'm getting a death. Hey, Mazo. 
fucked up. Spin up there. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing. You're just on the fence. You're on the fence. Just got into it. I just got into it. Back to Wild Bill's story. Oh, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of pissed off. Uh, the track's really, the track's really dry. Hey, a whole lot, but there ain't much cushion. There really is no cushion. So, anyway, I'd run hard just in the transfer and what two to go, maybe. Yeah, maybe two to go. I got, I get into the front stretch. Well, turn four stretch wall and just you know waffled it. You know. Kissed it, slowed me down, broke momentum. I knew he was, he was right there. You know, I knew, I seen him earlier. And uh, 11 car got me, so we missed it by one. I mean, like, I got, am I mad? I'm mad. Am I pissed off? Yeah, you're pissed. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a hat, so I can't throw it. Anyway, the guys did a good job. We were, we were in the hunt. It all comes down to time trials. And if you time better, you, you have a better shot qualifying. We didn't time good enough. That's what happens when you're on the bubble. So we missed it by one. Not the end of the world. I don't know. I still love you. It sucks. It sucks. Okay, it sucks. We don't want to not qualify. But. Oh, well. Hair looks good though. Look. Your hair looks good. It does. It does. And just think about this. You're only one spot out. There's a lot of people that like were at the back of that race. That's true. That's true. And there's been times when you sucked way worse. I have sucked way worse. <laughs> Honey Crisp has settled down a little bit. She's still not very happy, but she's chilling on her little bed. She's still shaking though. Oh, this night can't come to an end soon enough for her. Look this crew back here. The gang's all back together. <laughs> We're reminiscing. <laughs> Alright, big shout out tonight to Troy Savage. Cooking us up with some pizza. Go in the other side of the world. Called in the order or check, sent it in. Maybe he called it in. Where does he live? New Zealand, I think. Australia or New Zealand. That's freaking awesome. Troy Savage. Got the guys the pizza. Anyway, thanks for the guys been eating it up. Dalton's eating pizza. I'm eating. We're all eating. It tastes great. But thank you. Uh, thanks to, uh, excuse me, Mama's Pizza Wellsville for getting the pizza to the track. It's yummy. I'm going to have some more, actually. guys from the Skook, you know, the greatest place on earth, <laughs> to bring Bill something, test his palate here. Yeah, it's pretty good. I see light mango. mango. Do you love it? Yeah, well, I mean, it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's different. Would have been better if Danny could have got around gravel so we'd have a posse top three, but, you know. Maybe we'll take like, charge yeah. for one Maybe. We out of the top five. That's all right. <laughs> what are these guys doing? <laughs> Years of experience. Put pressure off, then stab it so it doesn't go shooting everywhere. So you're telling us to crack them? Yes. What's, what's, tell us, Nate. Well, you just crack the top a little and stab it. That way it doesn't go shooting everywhere. And then you crack the lid when you go up and then you chug it. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we enjoyed all the fans that stopped down after the race and had a good time. You got one right behind you. All kinds of good stuff going on down here. But so, it turned out to be a good night anyway. So, like, subscribe, uh, comment below. Thank you, all the sponsors. Yeah, on to the, the next race. We'll see you next time.